Everybody who watches my channel knows that I love to explore new brushes and new products. And over the years, which has not been many, where I've been able to actually use physical art supplies, if you know the story, you know the story. If not, I'm sure you'll hear it in other videos. I don't want to repeat it too much because it can become redundant. But I'm in this exploration phase and the brushes that I typically use have been Princeton, but I've also used really cheap brushes. I've tried super expensive Escoda brushes. They were nice, but they weren't really for me. And my partner has been using Traquel brushes for years, as well as many artists that I know. So he allowed me to borrow his golden Taclon over the last year I've used them here and there. And then finally, I decided it's time for me to get my own set. I found this set of Traquel brushes on Amazon. It was extremely reasonably priced for what they are. And they are the Protégé brushes. They are for watercolor. They're the synthetic Kalinsky brushes. And they're just beautiful. I have heard nothing but excellent things from different people about these brushes. So I thought, well, let me give them a try. They're very different from the Golden Taclon is what my partner said. And so I said, all right, let's, let's do it. All right, so I have a three zero here. I have a two. I believe that's a four. We have a four. We have a six. And we have a, a one script liner. Let's move this out of the way. And then we have a half inch wash. The one thing that I heard about these brushes and one of the reasons why I thought they might be good for me is that they have a really pointy tip. So for example, if you take this six, let me grab this six, they're gonna just roll around. Is this a six? Okay. So if you take this Princeton Heritage brush, this is a round, and you take this Protégé brush, which is also a round, you can see the tips are extremely different. Mind you, this still probably has gum arabic on it, so it's going to be more pointed. So why don't I go ahead and take some water here. Let's move this out of the way. And let's soften that brush with some water. Let's add some water to this one too, so that we can compare tips and it makes more sense but look at the tip difference. For me, I am needing a lot more precision and control. And Princeton are definitely my go-to brushes. They have been. The Princeton Heritage, I love the Velvet Touch, I love the Aqua Elites, but I do find that they're not as pointy as I want them to be. So I'm often using liners for things rather than rounds, and sometimes I need to get into a bigger area and these look like they're going to be just perfect for that. So again, the tips are much different, much more pointy. And for me as an artist, remember, my way of doing things and my needs are going to vary differently. And you also don't have to be somebody who's like, I'm only going to use one type of brush. So for example, I use an Aqua Elite and I use a quill and this is going to be a synthetic Kalinsky. But when I was on the Trakel website, I wasn't able to find any quills that were Kalinsky. So that means I'm probably gonna stick with this one for my quill. So what I'm getting at is that you might actually find that you might like a certain type of a brush for a certain type of thing and another brand of a brush for something else. And that comes with all different art supplies. I've heard so many times from people that they wanna be loyal to one thing only, but sometimes that one thing doesn't have all the things you need and that's okay. So Princeton doesn't have pointy rounds and Traquel does. So why don't we go ahead and move this water out of the way. Let me grab a painting that I'm working on and let's check 
the precision of the six. All right, so currently in this painting, I'm using Holbein gouache. The green that I have created is created with moss green, a little bit of blue, and we went ahead and added this silver gray. And I'm gonna go and have a little too much on my brush. It holds a lot more water and pigment than I thought. So now that we zoomed in a little bit again, I went ahead and dried this area. This held a lot more water and pigment than I expected, and it actually started coming off on my work and pooling, which this is nothing negative about this brush. Actually, it's shockingly amazing because the belly of the brush is holding a lot more than one would expect based on the size and shape. So coming in here and adding more color right over top of these because some of these aren't completely covered like I want them to be. The tip of that brush is really excellent. If I was to come in with this one you can see the precision isn't as precise. Still a very good brush, excellent tip as well, like a very good tip. But this one is just a lot more pointier and a lot more precise if you're doing teeny, tiny areas. So I love it. I love how it holds the water and pigment. I like how it feels in my hand. These brushes are absolutely amazing. The control, the point, the ability to hold so much water, there's nothing that I could say negative about these brushes. They're a smaller company, unlike Princeton, which is a very, very large company. Trakel is a smaller company. And what's really great about that is if you find art products that you like from smaller companies, it's really nice to support them because, you know, they're doing their thing and they're providing you with great things. These are definitely going to be go-to brushes for me. I mean, just look at that, that tip. Not everybody needs that kind of control, but I definitely do. They're just, they're wonderful wonderful, wonderful brushes. I'll definitely be getting more. And I think if you're looking for something that is more precise, if you're looking to try something new, these are definitely going to give Princeton a run for their money. And this is not my own personal experience, but my partner who has been using Trakel for years who encouraged me to get some brushes. He, Like I said, he didn't use these, he used the Golden Taclon. But they have a great longevity, and that's coming directly from him because he's used these for years. So not only are you getting a great brush, you're getting really precise, you're getting a brush that holds water in the belly, you're supporting a smaller company that's doing great things, you also know that if you're gonna invest in their products, that they're gonna last long because that's another issue. Sometimes something's amazing and then all of a sudden it wears out very quickly. And we all know with paint brushes, it's important to get brushes that are gonna last us for a long time to come because brushes are not cheap. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys want to give this a try, I purchased this on Amazon. I'll give you the link below. This set was really reasonable. If you get them together, it's much cheaper than buying them independently. So the link on Amazon is going to be a bit more affordable to get a good number of brushes. Also, if you guys have brushes that you like, I would love to hear what you use. If you guys enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing. And don't forget, I have a Patreon. Come over there and hang out with me. I'll see you guys again in another video.